Well, Andrew and I are at the auction house today. Uh, we are picking up our auction haul. It's about $4,500 worth of stuff, and I'm very excited to see it all in person because I did not preview. So, here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady, and welcome to my channel. So this is all of our stuff. It's already been all pulled for us because we're a day late picking it up thanks to the court thing yesterday. Oh my god, look at this, I'm so obsessed. I had to have this little mouse. And I mean, the rest of it is pretty cool too. <laughs> so some beautiful pieces of Murano glass. I got a few quilts. And then, oh, I didn't know we ended up buying this. Did you bid on this? I didn't think I bid on this. Might want to double she check. Sure show why? I know it's cracked. That's why I didn't bid oh, on it. Oh, was it? <laughs> yes. It's still the last two. Pieces. Yeah, I know it is. I'm like, I know I didn't bid on that I because I know it was cracked. Lot, so I don't think we're gonna get burned. No, it is really cool. I thought it was really cool. That's why I was like, oh well. It's for 15 bucks. Yeah, and this beautiful piece. Oh my gosh, I was obsessed. The enamel work on that biscuit jar. Oh, it's so cool. These little pumpkins, pottery pumpkins. Um, I forget who makes these ones. Those were, um, oh, Big and Grand Doll. I think those are Kingfishers. Here's some uh, enamel, and I actually bought this vase. The artist on this has decent uh, resale value, Odeon. Here is some Sibis, uh, Boleslaw Sibis. I've seen this one at the antique mall before and I just absolutely loved it so much. But it was a little too spendy at the antique mall. Um, this lady is worth quite a bit of money too. I forget who she is. She's a queen. A few stone grapes. Not lucite, but stone. And then this. I actually bought this whole lot for this German. Oh, it's a hanging piece. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that when I bought it. It's actually intended to hang German bisque porcelain. That's really cool. That's the reason I bought this whole lot. This guy, he reminded me of Italian pottery. But I was positive. I didn't pay a whole lot of money for him. He's great. And then the shell dogs. I've never seen shell dogs before, and I thought they were so cool. Here is a made in China kitty cat. It's a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be one of those little miniature ones. Cloisonne. Oh, there's little. What is that? Little scissors. That's a pretty piece of glass. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that was in there. I guess the color is applied to the outside. This is obviously Murano here. Got some more artwork. I loved that watercolor. Oh, oh that's um. We've had that one before. That's a Wallace Nutting. Very colorized. And here's some larger artwork. We, I think we bought five pieces by this artist, um, M. Sibley. There was a, a snow one that I really liked and I have to find it for you guys. All this stuff under the table too. <laughs> Look at that lamp I got. You guys know I picked up that slag glass lamp the other day and I was like all excited about it and potentially hanging it in my house. But then I saw this one and it's amazing when it's lit up. So, um... I think I'm going to actually use this one. Here is a Catherine Holm uh, bowl that matches the giant plate we had the other week. And then there are also um, Danish uh, little cheese boards. But what's cool is I think that this is lays in there like that. So 
plastic has a little, I mean, they're so cool. I thought this was really neat. It's got little mirrors in it. It's definitely got some age. It's a quilt. The artist is Mae Sibley in Tennessee. And this was my favorite of all of the artwork we got, but we had, we, we bought five different pieces. I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of Ashton and Juliet sledding. Oh, and here's some more artwork we bought. Oh, I loved this one. Let me show you. Look at the crows. It's just so fun, general store. If we don't have it, we don't need it. <laughs> And then this one. All right. These are a lot larger than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> Holy smokes. Three different pedestal candles. Here we have some crystalline glaze. Uh, I did buy some McCoy back there, you can see. I don't typically buy McCoy, but I loved the color of those pieces. Um, these are both Blanco, and then this is Bertil Valian of Costa Boda. I don't see any signatures on it, though. Pretty certain that's what it is. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. I think that this is... Um, very old Roseville, this design. But I don't know Roseville very well. The snail vase. Oh, he's missing one of his little snail horns. <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's all right, though. These were hiding under the table, but they're just fantastic. I think they have some age to them. Little compote. These are fantastic for um, St. Patrick's Day. Greens. As I'm digging through the layers, I discovered this apple face granny doll. I believe these are made with rotten apples, and then they turn black as they rot. These always just give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> and then there's Dorothy. Yeah, Dorothy. And this vase I wanted to show you guys because this is actually really cool. I thought it was just like a plain free throne vase, but then I noticed that it actually has, I think those are cows. There you can kind of see them better there. They're like longhorn cows. But this is a really neat art glass vase and there's no signatures on the bottom either. So it was kind of a mystery, but once I like focused in on the design, I was like, that is cool. Here are a few pieces of Murano. I believe this is Pelaguso, is what the technique is called, with all these little frothy bubbles. Uh, look at that gold on the inside. There's no signatures on it, and I didn't realize there was a boo boo there. But I think they're still really cool pieces. Are you gonna wrap those? There it goes. <laughs> I didn't realize this was New York's World Fair. There's a few pieces here. I can't remember why I purchased this lot, but it wasn't for this because I didn't even realize. It's actually pretty neat. This lot here included some Baccarat and some Tiffany and Company. Looks like Global. This is a Tiffany. Tiffany and Company, and then over here we've got more Tiffany and Company. These are like little baby dishes. These are fantastic. These are kind of the reason I bought the, the lot. I'm not keeping them, but um, he diddle diddle Tiffany and Company. They're really, you know what? Maybe I will. No, I'm not going to. I'm not keeping them. <laughs> but yep. Well, when I saw this lot, I immediately recognized these guys. It's Picard. Maybe that one's not. It. This one definitely is. There we go. Picard China. Here, this was also part of that lot. I just love those creamer and sugar. Divided dish. Some floral painting pieces. And a tureen. 
this was a pretty decent lot, even though it was just odds and ends. So I bought this lot of costume jewelry because of this panda necklace. Because it's everything. <laughs> There's also a fish, and I didn't actually see it. It's a flamingo. Oh, there's no, oh my gosh, there's more. There's like a bunch of them in here. A parrot. And a butterfly. Oh my gosh, so fun. Anyway, that's why I bought that a whole lot. This lovely cake plate kind of looked like an airbrush uh, restaurant wear. It's actually marked Fishes Eddie on the bottom. We've bought and sold the Fishes Eddie stuff in the, in the past, um, even though it's contemporary. And uh, that was kind of exciting. So I didn't realize how cool this vase was until I noticed the writing on the inside. And it actually says, home is where the heart is. Isn't that so sweet? It's like map. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Okay, well, I had never seen anything like this before. And so when I saw it in the auction, I had to buy it. It's marked here, um, National Silver Deposit Wear. I think it's actually a decanter. I don't think it would make sense to be a teapot, but it's kind of shaped like one and I really liked it. So here's a close-up of this lamp that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's a little bit dusty, but it's just absolutely stunning when it's all lit up because all of these orange panels are florals and leaves and it's just so beautiful. So I know I have to find a spot for this. 12 banana boxes. All right, so we left the auction house. As I mentioned earlier in the video, our total spend was $4,500, uh, but we filled the whole back of the truck and also the back seat of the truck. So we got some really great pieces and I didn't really get to show you all of them because like I said, we were daylight picking everything up and we were just kind of in a hurry to get out of there and get out of everybody's way. So I'll probably give you a closer look at that when I get it unpacked at the shop in the next few days but we're gonna head in here now to the goodwill and we're going to see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit so here we go this is so adorable kind of makes me think like cottage core with the florals oh my gosh Andrew already said no though <laughs> can't fit it in the truck well we're going to start with the figurines because this is my favorite place to start Andrew has already taken off and he is off looking to see what he can find, so um, I'm sure he'll be reporting back soon. Got a tray here. I like the blue color. Pratik. Unfortunately, because of the music, I am going to cut over to a voiceover now. But I picked up this amber vase, and it was 99 cents. I figured I could get at least $12 for that, but I'm not really sure who makes it. I had to kind of turn my cart to go check out the other side of the figurine shelf. And there was a ewer here. Uh, from the other side of the shelf, I thought that it was glass. I thought maybe Fenton, but clearly it is ceramic and not glass. These plates kind of had an atomic look to them. The pattern name was Carousel. Uh, and even though I liked the pattern, the other plates were chipped and it really wasn't worth picking up just one plate. There's the praying hands. I win for the day. This cat was great. I really liked it. It was hand painted. You could see it is signed there. I stuck it in my cart, but later in the checkout line when Andrew was with me, I did realize that the ear was chipped. So we made the decision to put it back on the shelf. This metal piece on the bottom, I liked the figural frog on it. Um, there was a sticker on the bottom. I think it said made in China. Unfortunately, it was very oxidized. You can see all the rust there. And so I didn't pick it up. Now this picture, I was like, is it glass? Is it plastic? I don't know. Let's check. And of course I tapped it and it was in fact plastic. It was a single plate that really wasn't worth picking up. And not much in the vase section, except for these. I thought, you know what, these are great. And I just so happened to have two children who would really appreciate these. 
Andrew was unfazed by my humor. Uh, but he did pick up these mugs. They are cores, but they're also Orioles, so they are vintage. Uh, they're worth about $15, and uh, we were going to take it with us, but then he noticed that there was some damage on it, the handle, I believe. This looked like a gym shore from a distance. I thought, hey, aren't you going to pick up that gym shore as Andrew walked by it? It was not gym shore, but it definitely had a gym shore look to it. It was $6.49. Uh, I liked the fact that there was no damage to it, and I thought somebody else would appreciate that. This pitcher had its lid, which was surprising because you never find them with their lids. Uh, you can see on the bottom it's marked Thompson. And I really liked it until I saw that it was $9.49. And then I put the lid right back on it and I left it there for someone else. Now Andrews found a guitar and uh, we bought this for decor for our shop because both Jonathan and Tim are really into heavy metal. So um, Andrew decided that we needed it for shop decor, either in the shipping department or over by Tim's desk. This lighthouse was really neat. It was marked on the back. I, th I think it's an art pottery piece. Uh, there was some sort of, um, I don't know, candle thing in there with like fuel. I'm not really sure. We ended up ditching that because it wasn't original to the piece. But it was kind of like a tea light candle. And it was a lighthouse. So that was definitely really, really cool. And uh, it was $4.49. These candlestick holders, Andrew was trying to poo-poo them because um, I was like, these are fantastic for St. Patrick's Day. And he's like, they're not. And I'm like, no, they definitely are. So for $1.49 each, we grabbed them. This bunny dish, you can see, does have some damage there on the one bunny. This is where the holiday section is. You can see there's some Christmas still out. But I moved away from the holiday section and picked up these salt and pepper shakers because I kind of liked the glaze of them. There were no markings on them, however, so we left those behind. There were tons of canisters, but you can see these ones were damaged. And then the mugs. I usually check over the mugs and today was no exception. When I'm looking at the mugs, I'm looking for vintage mugs or um, Starbucks mugs, anthropology. I didn't see a whole lot here. Target. It was all the Target. But then I noticed this mug, and I thought, you know what, that is a really cool mug. It's marked Sheffield Home, and it's a healthcare worker only as a gnome and it says you're my hero and I thought that was a great mug now as we were leaving and walking by the furniture I noticed this and it is like a bedside table it looks like somebody um, had to replace the top and they did it with this wood paneling which was kind of weird but it definitely had interesting lines to it and that's what I was drawn to but we really had no room in the truck and so it was not able to come home with us all right, well, our total spend there was $25. I'm pretty pleased with that lighthouse piece. I think that was probably one of my favorite pieces that we found today. Um, the cat, unfortunately, when we got to the checkout, we realized that it had a chipped ear, which I didn't notice when I picked it up. So Andrew convinced me to put it back. He says, we don't want to be selling chipped stuff. I said, okay, fine. <laughs> so that was a difficult decision, but it was one we had to make. So we're going to get out of here now, and we're going to head on back home and get all of this unloaded. Say bye. What's this wee crap? We, I mean, who's he, unloading it? He's unloading it. <laughs> I just like using the we. So <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.